Well, good morning, and it's just a gross day out here today. But as you can see, I'm surrounded by trucks, which means we're taking away our old clay and the muddy topsoil that was here, and we're scraping down a clear clay. So what we like to do, a little bit different than a lot of other builders, is we like to actually put a foot of recycled concrete product on top of our clear scraped clay. Most builders, well, I don't say most, but what some builders like to do is just take a lot like this. We know we need to raise, raise the elevation of the lot, and really you can get away with just putting sand on top of the lot. But what we prefer to do is scrape down to clear, clean clay, so the gray stuff with no black lines showing through it. And uh, we want to make sure that the top of our floor, uh, we've got about 30 inches or so. We need uh, 18 inches for the forms and 12 inches for the sand, so 30 inches from the top of our floor, because that's what we need. So we're going to mark that now. And how we start is I have a laser level set up there. And I've got a pin for our elevations there. That's that's the new height of our floor. So we first of all establish where our laser level is. So, so we now know that that's the top of our floor. Now we need to add on 30 inches. So 18 for our footings, which is what we use here, plus 12 for the sand. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it up 30 inches. And I'll do that now and show you what we end up with. Okay. So we've made our revisions here. We've added 30 inches onto our benchmark height. So now you can see we need to go down quite low to have the laser level shoot off here. Where are we? There we go. So what that means is now that bottom there, when it beeps, that's our right elevation. So that's, that's the bottom of our sand. So we can add 12 inches of sand on top of that bottom. So let's go show you how that looks. The last video of this process here. Um, so now what we've done is we've actually marked the far outside of the perimeters here. You can see I've just finished measuring off. So we've got four corners set for the eventual foundation of this house. Any posts, anything like that will fit into that. Uh, so we've got approximately 30, 35 feet of house that will fit in here. So I've allowed a couple of feet on either side and this way as well. So that actually sets us up so we can um, put our foundation in and have room to work around the foundation. Mind you, that said, this lot will end up being flat. But what we know is that underneath that foundation, we're gonna have the recycled product that we like to have. One good thing that we found is that we don't have to scrape too far to get to clear clay. And uh, we are already close to the height that we need to be at. In fact, this area in here, we're actually a little bit under. So we're gonna put a little bit of extra fill in that and that'll, um, That'll have us even, even more, and we'll probably have a foot and a half worth of sand underneath this foundation, which is fantastic for this uh, neighborhood and this location. So, there you go. There's where we need to be. So, I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so you can see now the difference between the soil that, do, that hasn't been scraped to clear and the soil that's been scraped to clear. You can see the difference in color between the two. So, in the end of this whole thing, what we want to end up with is a solid house that doesn't move at all, and a dry lot, and no more mud, because I hate mud. Ah! I'm going to get a coffee. See you soon.